you know that it's almost Valentine's Day? So I decided to go get a few new dresses for this occasion because I don't know why, but I just, I just have always found it fun to dress up and do fashion shows for you guys. And I'm just honored that you still like to watch them. These are the shoes I'm gonna be wearing. The clear heels. Aren't they pretty? This first dress I'm gonna be featuring is a Calvin Klein dress. It's like a baby pink color. I just thought it was so cute. So I'm gonna be wearing this first, but I wanted to do a little introduction and say, I'm really thankful for all of you that watch my videos. I put my hair up, did my makeup, did my earrings, and I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos and I hope that you can either get an idea if you're a woman for Valentine's Day or just to dress up just because you're a woman or a man. Uh, maybe send your wife to these, this channel and maybe she can get an idea of what to wear for you. So it's, it's basically just a win-win situation to watch my YouTube channel here. Also, I do the TikToks, Ursula Andrea, Instagram, Fantasy Curvy Style, and Twitter, Ursula's World. So I'm really everywhere, so you can go watch a variety of what I post and what I do. But without further ado, let's get this fashion show started, shall we? Okay. Okay, as I mentioned, this first one is a Calvin Klein baby pink. I just thought it was so cute. Pulled my hair up, did my makeup. I just feel like sometimes it can be just just okay just to pull your hair up and just have that kind of look when you're wearing your dress for the night, like a date night. And this Calvin Klein is kind of like giving me business attire. Um, I could wear this to the business and then I could go out on a date afterwards vibe. Uh, I have a little choker necklace on and then I paired it with also a long sparkly necklace. So I think it would be fun. Gives you a little tiny peekaboo here, kind of like a heart shape, um, but it doesn't give away too much. So if it's like a first date or whatever, it would be perfect. Because you don't ever want to give too much on the first date, right? You want to just develop a little mystery. I'm learning. We want them to know what we're working with, right? You can clearly see what I'm working with in this dress, but yet it's, it doesn't, um, doesn't, it's not giving desperate, you know? It's just giving like, yeah, I'm a businesswoman and I just came out with you tonight, you know? after my job, after my, my work. So, and you can clearly see what I'm working with in the back. And so I think that sometimes these tight pencil dresses say so much without saying too much, if you know what I mean. So I wanted to bring this into the fashion show as well, because I mean, who doesn't love the zipper. I, I couldn't get, see, and then your man can help you unzip it to get it off. I couldn't zip it all the way to, to get it on. I just had to slip it over, but this would be the, the type of dress that you're like, I hope, I hope she lets me unzip the dress, <laughs> right? I hope that, well, if you're married, of course, but I hope she lets me unzip that gold zipper kind of thing, you know, like, wow, she looked so good. We had the best conversation. We ate good food, great conversation. We had eye contact. We stared in each other's eyes. We got to know each other and we just had a great time. Maybe it's, if it's been date two, date three, date four, then maybe this would be the dress that you could just have them unzip it. I mean, what? Who knows? You never know. Let's go to the next one, shall we? This one is a pretty bright pink. 
So whether you're feeling that little baby pink color or you want to be a little bit more vibrant in your color, this is a beautiful, I just feel like, you know, I'm going to give you a variety. I'm getting a lot of form fitting ones um, in different colors, but I also am going to have a long one too, just kind of so you can just feel whatever feels best on you. But, so you can wear this with just the choker like that, or you could bring out a long necklace like that, put on your favorite kind of nylons, put on your favorite heels, and voila, you're ready. You're ready. And it's stretchy. I got all these from Ross Dress for Less. You know, that's always my go-to. I don't know why, I just love their dresses. They're affordable and they always have such a good variety. I was gonna buy them online and I'm like, ah, there's just something about going to the store for me. The whole experience of looking through the racks and, and seeing what calls my name, you know what I mean? What's gonna call Ursula's name? So this is another beautiful look. Let's show you the back. The back. It's got that stretchy for the bum bum. It's just a zipper up dress. So you just, I just basically just slid it on. You can't get easier than that. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You just gotta find the dress, get the nylons, get the heels, and you're ready. Slip on dresses are the easiest because you just slip them on. You don't have to worry about a skirt or a shirt. Just one dress. Let's move on to the next, shall we? And of course, the staple red. So, you've got your choice of going with the pink tones, doing like a lighter pink for Valentine's Day or a darker pink, or the red that never goes out of style that says, here I am, lady in red. It's like a power color. It just, it never gets old having a red dress. This dress has a built-in like diamonds right here. So you don't have to go in the overkill of jewelry. You can just simply show up just with that. You know, I'm just giving you the options. You can do choker, you can just do that, or you can do all. You can be extra. And you can pick out whatever earrings. I've got diamond hoop earrings for all of these. I pair would wore my hair up because I just feel like, I don't know, you know, it's just like gives me that sophisticated, like, I mean business, baby. I ain't messing around. If you want to see my hair down, then let it be a good night. Cause then if it's a good night, you can whip the thing out of my hair and pull it if you like, <laughs> whatever you like, you know what I mean? So just give him a little bit of a uh, teacher vibe, kind of like, smart vibe and then afterwards you can just rip it off if you want and here's the back and again it's just a simple pull over dress which are my favorite they're my favorite because this says it all I've got this like oh this is kind of cool see it's like if you're trying to hide something right here you got a little extra going on like I always do. This kind of just shadows over it so that you can eat and not feel like your stomach is gonna protrude out so far. You know what I mean? It's kind of a nice extra. And then it, and it uh, it's tight around the smallest part of your body right here. And then it just rouges down over the area that you may not like but you know what i'm finding is that the problem area that you think is a problem area on you your guy doesn't think it's a problem area some guy some guys like this area 
which is like, okay, if you like this area, I can eat that piece of cake or that chocolate covered strawberries tonight and I don't have to feel guilty kind of thing because I've got this little protection over me. And you can show your arms. It doesn't give away too much. It has this little, little tiny bit of a peekaboo, but nothing crazy, you know? So you got the little tiny peekaboo. You're adding a little bit of mystery again on a date, ladies. But yet you're showing off the, the goods because it's tight and your legs are out and your nylons are on. And you know, it's just men think dresses are hot. Why? Tell us, men. Why are dresses hot? Can you explain it in the comments? Why do you think dresses are so hot? <laughs> and let me know in the comments also which one you should think, uh, which one I should wear for my Valentine's Day. And even if it's going to be just here at the house, I, I should still dress up, right? So which one? Which one? I'll probably go on a live, a live somewhere, TikTok or somewhere, and show you which one I wore, or at least pictures or somewhere, something. But I'm doing this early enough so that you guys can make a decision before Valentine's Day, ladies. And men, you can let your wives watch this and choose which one you'd like. Now the last but not least is a long one, so let's see. Okay, depends on where you're going. If you're looking for a more of a, a formal, fancier party, then maybe you would wanna go for something like this that's just so sparkly and beautiful. You know I wanna be, I would love to go somewhere in this. And again, you can omit the necklace if you want because it's sparkly enough as it is. But I just want to give you some options. Look at how it goes down into like a beautiful like mermaid style on the bottom. Isn't that gorgeous? Like a gown. So if you've got a really formal party to go to and really important or you just want to you just don't feel like wearing the short dresses then this is an option because this is going to give you beautiful elegance sparkly gives you a little bit of cleavage action it's got room stretchy so look at how much room I have it's got a built-in slip and I just feel like you probably should not wear the black bra. You should probably wear something a little bit lighter. It's got the whole back out. So that's nice. Gives you the, the back peekaboo, form fitting around the booty. And it's just giving you that mermaid feel or like that gown feel you know so let me know which ones you liked and um would you wear the long dress women or the short one of the short dresses let me know or if you have different style altogether, that's okay I'm just kind of giving you some options of what I chose to wear these are the ones, these were my favorites. They didn't have as many as I would have liked to because normally I have longer fashion shows, but at least I got four favorites, right? So, let me go backwards so you can see the detail. See the detail of the sparkles? Do you see the sparkles? All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And happy Valentine's Day. 
I hope each and every one of you, whatever you're gonna do for Valentine's Day, just have a blast. And you know what the most important thing is? Even if you're alone, love yourself and do something fun for yourself. Maybe I'll wear one of these and just go out by myself. Why not? Who knows? I'll keep you posted. Bye for now.